Hello, this is Joshua from Tiny House Basics. We're here on another tiny house trailer tour. This is a 34 foot, 21,000 pound gooseneck tiny house basics trailer. So let's go ahead and take a look. So with all of our goosenecks, um, it extends an eight foot long buildable deck with the gooseneck hitch at the front. Uh, so with this trailer, I'll go ahead and talk about our standard features on our, on our gooseneck tiny house trailers. And then I'll explain some of the options and just kind of show you some additional features that goosenecks offer. So with any of the trailers, we start off with the lower deck. Like this is a 26 foot um, tiny house trailer. The option added was the gooseneck package, which gives you a eight foot long uh, buildable deck on top of the gooseneck hitch. Uh, goosenecks come standard with the twin 12,000 pound jacks right here. Uh, these are drop leg jacks. So you have this crank right here to adjust, raise and lower. And then they have this spring loaded foot, which you pull this lever and it could drop all the way down to the ground. And then you can pull it to release it. So that's standard on the gooseneck trailers. Uh, they come standard with a straight uh, coupler like this. Since our tow vehicle is a F-150 with a short bed, uh, we have the extended goose right here from B&W. Uh, this gives us um, an extra 10 inches of clearance from the front of the gooseneck to the cab of the truck. With all the gooseneck trailers, you can customize this upper deck on how high you want it above the lower deck. The default height is 50 inches from here to the uh, top of the lower deck. This clears any pickup truck, like our pickup truck as you see right here. If you have a flatbed truck or a different type of vehicle, different type of truck, we can build it much lower. That doesn't cost anything. That's just an additional uh, feature that we offer on our tiny house trailers. And like all of our other trailers, um, the standard mainframe is 82 inches for this main beam. And it doesn't cost anything to choose whatever deck width you want. You could choose anything from 82 all the way up to 102 for all our tiny house trailers. And the upper deck will match the lower deck in the width. If you want the house to be finished at 102 when it's all done, uh, you can get it at 98 inches like we did on this tiny house trailer. That allows for siding and trim to be at that finished 102 inch wide deck. So this will be 102 inch right here at the edge of the fenders. You can also upgrade any of our trailers to the 10 foot wide models, which starts at $800 and that gets you 10 foot wide axles, 10 foot wide deck. You can also do nine and a half foot wide decks if you'd like as well. This trailer um, comes standard with the cross members at 16 inch spacing. Uh, this has the flush cross member option, which raises the cross members flush with the top of the deck. That is so you can use the trailer as the subfloor lay your insulation inside there, plywood deck, uh, plywood decking on top of it. This trailer has the optional flashing. As you can see, this metal belly pan, it's 18 gauge uh, metal flashing. It's welded and painted to match the trailer. Uh, this protects the bottom from critters, rodents, but its main purpose is really to uh, allow an area for your insulation to go into. So when you're using the trailer as your subfloor. So this is welded and painted uh, to match the trailer. And it's not intended to be waterproof. That way, if water does get in the subfloor from your house or a leak, it does have a way to get out. But this is an option on all of our trailers. Many customers choose to install it themselves um, or we have the option to add it. This tiny house trailer also has the optional four inch drop axles. So that gives it the lower deck height. It's 22 inches from here to the ground when the trailer is level. And then the upper deck is 50 inches above that. So that is a total of 72 inches from the top of the upper deck to the ground. We also have the option to do larger uh, gooseneck decks. The hitch will be always be at the front. So you can actually do a standard eight foot deck, nine foot or 10 foot long deck. That'll make the trailer overall longer. Uh, with all of our goosenecks, we count the buildable deck as part of the uh, square footage or a total length. So 26 feet, eight foot for a 34 foot uh, total length of buildable space. So we'll get ahead and take you around again. Let's go ahead and take a look at the top. So this will be the uh, subfloor that you'll lay your insulation in, plywood, uh, tongue and groove, 
uh, sub floor on top. And then same thing up here. Uh, you'll treat it exactly as you will the lower deck. It's most commonly to use the upper deck as the master bedroom. And then you can have stairs. Many people have chosen bathrooms to go in between. And as you see on our channel, you see another tiny house shell tour that we've done with one that was just a little bit smaller than this tiny house trailer. So yes, uh, 21,000 pound gross vehicle weight rating. Any deck size up to 102 for our standard trailers. This is all box tube construction as well. If you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, pop them in the comments. You can find a lot of info about our tiny house trailers on our website. And thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you guys in the next tiny house tour. Bye.